Welcome back everyone to another episode of Vegetarian Cooking with JJ. Today I'm going to be making some very delicious Mexican stuffed sweet potatoes and they're going to be flavor popping. And I'm going to be using a couple of traditional Mexican chilies. And you'll find out more about those later. But without further ado, let's head over to the kitchen and get cooking. Here's one of the delicious Mexican stuffed sweet potatoes we're going to be making today. Here we have our dried ancho chili and our dried wahilo chili. What we're going to do is rehydrate them. I'll just break up the wahilo chili and I want to completely submerge them. I'm just using a fork to press them down. You're welcome to use something heavy to keep them fully submerged. Next, I'm going to scoop out the centers of our sweet potatoes. You may like to score them first with a knife so that it's easier. You can use a melon bowler or a sharp spoon. Well, you can choose to bake them first and then scoop them out. I'm just doing things in a different way. I'm dicing half of the red onion. You're welcome to use a yellow onion if you prefer. I'm adding a half teaspoon of ground chipotle into our blender. I'm adding the wahilo pepper. Removing the stem first. And I'm doing the same with the ancho pepper. I'll add some of the soaking liquid. You can give it a taste first. And I'll add in some of my homemade veggie stock. This comes to about a three quarter cup total. I'll add in some salt. and some pepper as well. Now we'll blend it all up and it's gonna make a beautiful sauce. Look at that beautiful color. Chili's got their start in Mesoamerica. This includes Central Mexico, Central America, and Costa Rica. However, chilies originated in Bolivia. But as a benefit of the Colombian exchange, they were first cultivated in the Tehuacan Valley in Mexico. Not all chilies are very spicy. The dried ancho chili that I'm using that comes from the fresh poblano pepper is more of a smoky flavor, more of an earthy flavor, and I personally don't find that there's any spice to it at all. It is the most popular pepper used in Mexico. The wajillo chilies are the second most popular in Mexico, and they're supposed to be a little bit more spicy than the ancho chilies. They're considered to be mild to medium. However, I don't find them to be spicy at all. Their fresh version is called Marisol. You will find in the flavor of the wajilos that there is a slight fruitiness to them and a smoky nuttiness. Although I don't find these peppers to be spicy at all, they do have unique flavors. However, if you are fearful, you're welcome to remove the seeds and any membranes that you may see. And believe it or not, there are some Mexicans out there that can't handle the spice. I have six organic tomatoes that were ripened on the vine. I shall dice them all up now. I'll just set these diced tomatoes aside. I'm now chopping up four cloves of garlic for a dish. I'll 
I'll set our stove top to medium and get our stub Dutch oven nice and hot and add some oil to it. I'll now add a teaspoon of our cumin seeds into our Dutch oven and our red onion. I'll allow this to cook a little. Now I'm adding in our eased Mexican veggie ground round. Break it up. I'm adding in the garlic now. Now I'm adding in some oregano. If you have Mexican oregano, even better. That has its own specific flavor. I'll add in all of our tomatoes here and mix it up. I'm adding in our chili paste here that I created and I'll reserve about a quarter of it just for later. I'm adding in my homemade veggie stock. Keep some stock nearby just in case you need it. Now I'm spooning in the stuffing into the sweet potatoes and making sure that I allow for more of the liquid component to go back into the Dutch oven. You may want to use tongs to place them in. I'm using my hands, but do as I say, not as I do in this case, or I'll leave the risk up to you. <laughs> I'm making sure that the longer ones are placed in the middle where there's more room. Here's the final pour of our chili paste over our sweet potatoes. I'm just going to add a little extra broth as well. I'll reduce the heat to low, cover our stub Dutch oven. This should be ready in 30 minutes, but be sure to poke it with a fork to make sure cooking time varies from person to person. Archaeological discoveries and studies in the southern part of Mexico uncovered that chilies were used in the ancient drinking vessels. This goes back 400 BCE, so back then people were enjoying spicy beverages. One that you're probably familiar with is a spicy Mexican hot chocolate with the cayenne or the chilies mixed in with the chocolate. Delicious. It's one of my favorites, one of Shimmy's favorites as well. However, even though it's a traditional beverage of the Aztec people and the Mayan people, the chocolate mixture didn't come until a little bit later on, although it's still an ancient beverage. I'm dicing some yellow bell peppers and I'm going to dice some red bell peppers as well. A little jalapeno which I'll add on top to our stuffed sweet potatoes. This will be added in the last seven minutes or so of cooking time. Making use of our time, I'm going to get some fresh lime juice going which will be used for the finishing touch. I'm also going to get some avocado slices ready. You want to do this closer to the end of the cook time. You can always just coat them with a little of the lime juice. 
just to prevent the oxidization. As you can see, I added the diced peppers on top of our stuffed sweet potatoes in the final round of cooking time, and we're ready for plating. So I'll add one of the stuffed sweet potatoes on top of this plate, and I'm going to add some of the sauce from our Dutch oven on top. I scooped out our avocado slices efficiently with a spoon and I'm spreading them on top. I'm adding some chopped cilantro. And the fresh lime juice. I have this cultured brand Sriracha Jalapeno Vegan Cheese. I'm just going to add a few pieces on top to finish this delicious meal off. It has a cheddar-like flavor to it, and the spice level is just a hint. However, I'll let others be the judge for themselves. I added a salad on the side to enjoy with this meal, and as always, the dressing is homemade. The moment I've been waiting for, taste testing time. My favorite part. Here we go. Making a little bit of a mess here. <laughs> you know I like to get all the components on the fork. You can always kick it up a notch with the spice. These particular chilies are more on the smoky side. Beautiful combination of flavors here. <laughs> I'm making a mess. There you have it, another delicious meal to add to your recipe booklets. Feel free to gain your own inspiration and switch it up a little bit if you like. But this one is delicious as it is. Makes you want to go salsa dancing. <laughs> if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a new video, a new recipe every Monday. This is JJ signing off, keeping things interesting in my kitchen and in yours. Bon appetit.